Hey guys, it's Melanie. So we are doing a shop my stash slash shop my makeup collection slash everyday makeup drawer. This is a video that I've done for a number of years on my channel and um, I know a lot of you really like this particular series, um, which is kind of the only reason why I'm still doing it. Um, I've honestly gotten really lazy about switching my makeup out. Um, especially I think over the last year, but I'm trying to get a little bit better about it. Essentially, the idea behind this video is for me to go quote unquote shopping in my Alex 9 drawer and move the products that I select over to this set of drawers um, to create sort of an everyday makeup drawer or a makeup bag or whatever you want to call it that is a sm much smaller, more curated collection of products that I will use specifically during a given time. So during the month of during the month of March, the idea is that I pretty much stick to using the products that I have in the drawers over here. So um, why this is helpful to me is well, honestly, it just makes getting ready a lot more efficient. Um, I don't have to go fishing through these drawers. Um, to find what I'm looking for. I just kind of make myself choose whatever's in here and create a look and um, I'm usually happy with it. So uh, normally um, you guys prefer it when I actually go through the drawers with you, but I did recently do a makeup collection video. So if you're curious about what is in all these drawers, I will definitely link that video down below it's just a little bit more efficient for me to pull the stuff and put it in the drawer and then show it to you guys if that makes sense so my floor here is really creaky we do have penny walking around so any noises that you hear my apologies <laughs> so um these are the little containers that i recently picked up at target they weren't in the dollar section they were back by where they have all of the um, like Sterilite containers, um, basically where they have just the storage stuff at Target. So I think they still have them if you're interested. Um, they're super easy to clean. I just wiped most of these out with just a Clorox wipe here a few minutes ago. And so um, they're very easy to clean up. I used to just use some cardboard boxes that I recycled from a PR package, but... Um, I figured it'd be a little bit better to have something that I could actually wipe out. Okay, so we're going to start over here with, um, hi Penny, hi, oh you're so sweet, and my camera is just taking a nosedive here. These are my um, SPF and primers in this container right here. So I sort of, um, I have a little system about how I apply everything <laughs> to my face every morning, so this kind of is set up in that way. Um, so my Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense is my SPF of choice. This is an SPF 30, it's mineral. Um, it has been my go-to for quite some time. When I know I'm taking pictures, I like to have this um, primer available. This is the uh, Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle Line Blur Factor. And this really does a good job of um, making my pores essentially look invisible. I really love this product. I don't wear it every single day, but when I'm taking pictures, I like to have this. My eye primer right now is the Viseart Eye Primer. This is really nice. It's a little bit more sticky, so it tends to grab shadows very nicely. And then another holy grail and must have is my Color Science Total Eye SPF 35. Any of my Holy Grail items I will link down below, but I don't really have the time to link everything that I'm showing here, so, um, but I will put my favorites. Penny, please stop licking me. <laughs> She's licking my pants. <laughs> okay, foundations. I am a powder foundation girl, and my favorite is the Laura Geller Balance in Brighton, but I do have a Clinique foundation here that I got for free from Ulta, because this was apparently my um, reward for getting to diamond status. There were a couple things to choose from, but really the only thing that I would realistically use is um, a powder foundation, so I snagged this. Clinique is not actually cruelty-free, so um, I know 
I no longer purchased from them, but since it was free, I picked this up. Um, the Urban Decay New Powder Foundation, I've already done a review of that. And then also the Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass is my preferred um, translucent powder. Did I call this a primer? It's a translucent powder. Back here, I do have the mascaras I'm currently using. So there's one from ColourPop. There's the new one from Buxom, which honestly I have not reached for at all because this one isn't very good. I did do a mascara Monday on this. I don't recommend it. <laughs> um, this is my brow powder. Everyone always asks. My brows are micro shaded and I do fill them in with this Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Powder. This is being discontinued by Tarte, so if you want it, I'll link it down below. I would snag it soon because it's going to be gone. Um, there's also another Buxom um, mascara in here. There's some Lumify drops. I love these. Um, if you've never tried these, um, I joke with Craig. It's like bleach for the whites of your eyes. Um, obviously, this isn't bleach. Do not put bleach in your eyes. But this whitens the whites of your eyes beautifully, and it just makes you look much more refreshed and awake and rested. So anyway, I love these. Um, I use this granite um, brow duo from Anastasia as my um, eyeliner, actually. It didn't work for my brows, but it works great as an eyeliner. So those are those products over there. Um, so just mascaras and brow products, essentially. Over here, I have highlighters and contour powders. So um, from Hourglass, I love these ambient lighting powders. I have Ethereal Light here. This is Opal from Becca, which is very nice. The Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Light. Um, I actually prefer the medium, but the light is pretty good for this time of year. And then this has been discontinued by Marc Jacobs, but it's one of my favorite products from them, which really bums me out. It's the Instamark Mirage Filter, so anyway. Huge womp womp there that they discontinued it, but anyway. What are you going to do? Uh, blushes over here. Uh, the Tardis blush palette. I've got blushes in here from Hourglass. I These are probably some of my favorites. Oh, you guys are seeing me in my gym clothes. Hi. <laughs> um, another Hourglass powder, uh, Hourglass blush. Um, this is my favorite Lorac blush. These were discontinued a while ago, but I still have this and I love it. It's the shade Rose. Um, there's a juice, is this Juice Beauty? 100% pure, sorry, totally different company. <laughs> it says right there, 100% pure. Um, a really nice uh, peach blush from them. The, there is a new, um, you'll see a review of this tomorrow actually. <laughs> this is the new um, B Day Bay blush from uh, Tarte. There's a couple more down here. There's a Laura Geller. Blush and Brighten, that's really nice. But anyway, those are the blushes that I have pulled. So nice pinks and peaches, which I love to wear during the spring. All right, in the next drawer, I keep all of the eyeshadow palettes that I have pulled out. So hang on here, let me rearrange myself. This is so awkward. <laughs> all right, here I've got um, some smaller palettes, the Marc Jacobs Stiletto Eyeshadow Palette. This is new from Tarte. You'll see a video about this tomorrow, so I won't talk about it too much. There's some Laura Geller. There's some Marc Jacobs singles in here. Um, a couple of Wet n Wild singles. I have the Viseart Liaison Palette. This one is gorgeous. If you've never seen this one, ooh, look at those purples. Gorgeous. Definitely my favorite eyeshadow formula, hands down. Um, a couple more busy art palettes. This is Paris Nudes. And this is Bijou Royale. Is that it? Yep, Bijou Royale. Um, Pat McGrath um, Subliminal, right? Subliminal? Subliminal palette. Yeah, I think that's what this one is. Um, I don't purchase from MAC anymore either, but this is left over from back in the day. This was just a... I think I actually bought this at Nordstrom. It's just a collection of um, 15 eyeshadows. It doesn't have a name, um, but it's got some pretty shades in there. I also have the Dominique um, Cosmetics Latte Palette in here. 
I have the On Taupe from Zoeva. And then back here, these always stay out. The Viseart Grand Pro one, which is a staple, sorry, my camera is moving, <laughs> uh, which is a staple palette for me. This never gets put away. And then I also have a lot of my Viseart Theory palettes in this Tarte palette here. So they are all condensed in there along with some Sydney Grace eyeshadows at the bottom there. So those are the eyeshadows. Please let me know which one of these palettes you'd like to see a um, perfect neutral eye tutorial with during the month of March. Um, I am still committed to recording one of those a month. I was thinking the Latte palette. I don't know. You guys let me know down below. And then the last drawer is just lip products. So um, I still have a lot of the same lipsticks. Uh, the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks in Berry Victoria and um, Pillow Talk are favorites of mine. There's a couple of Marc Jacobs lipsticks here. Slow Burn and what's the other one? Sonic Truth. These are both gorgeous. I have some really beautiful City Lips lip glosses. Those are amazing. The Hourglass lip gloss in Provoke is gorgeous. This fun, bright, shimmery, buxom gloss in Claire um, I thought was perfect for this time of year. The lip gloss in Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, there is a Tarte lipstick in the shade Bare Bud. Um, Sugar Cane from Bite Beauty. This is from the Amuse Bouche lipstick line, which I think might be discontinued. Um, I don't think I've seen these on the Sephora website anymore, so that's kind of crazy. And then I have a bunch of lip gloss or lip balm pots down here. There's two from, what are, Emile Corden. So Lisa and Coco um, still have the Biosance Vegan, Rose Vegan Lip Balm, which is lovely. And then the Milani Rose Butter rose yeah rose butter mask i did do a video comparing these two um if you missed that i'll try to remember to link it and then there's a primera uh lip mask in here as well and then those are just sponges but that's everything that i have pulled for the next month so hopefully i've got enough selection in here i feel like i do so anyway let me know what you guys want to see a perfect neutral eyeshadow tutorial with from this selection here and um i'm gonna go see who dinged my phone thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys